everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Cassandra. Today's review is all about Amwaj. Yes, this is Interlude Woman. So if you want to know exactly what I think about this fragrance, please continue to watch. Okay, we are back and today's review is all about Amwatch and this is Interlude Woman. Look at this packaging y'all. This packaging is A1. I love the colors. I mean this is gorgeous. And then I like this emerald right here. It says Amwatch Interlude. I mean gorgeous. Just look at it. And it is an EDP, and it says EDP and woman on the top. And all you do is take it up like this, and there is the beautiful bottle, y'all. Take it out of here. Look at this blue bottle. This is gorgeous, y'all. And on the side, it has interlude on each side. Then you turn on the other side and it says on this side to interlude. Okay, in the front, I love the emerald. And then it said I'm watch. And y'all see it's this playing off gold and blue. Gold and blue. And this is a 100 ml EDP 3.4 fluid ounce. Okay, I love the cap. The cap is magnetic. Yes, it's a magnetic cap. And like I said, it's gold and got that little blue diamond up there. Now, this fragrance was released in 2012. I am going to spray her. And I'm going to leave the correct notes up here somewhere, okay? But I'm just going to tell you what I smell and what I think about this fragrance. Let's Look at the itemizer, okay? Let's see how it does. Ready? Okay, like the itemizer on it. And like I said, the neck is also gold and it says in the loop right there. Okay. At first sniff, it is strong. You get it's real strong in your face, okay? It's, it's more like a spicy strongness. And also, with that um, spiciness, um, if it doesn't have cinnamon, it might be like ginger, pepper, you know, something like that to make it spicy. And now, I'm here to tell y'all, it definitely got oud in it. Because I can smell that oud. And this is a finely blend oud, y'all. Yeah, I know I love my oud. Oh, this is gorgeous, y'all. It's unique, but it's gorgeous. And definitely do not blind by this. Because this is a unique scent. And I feel like you're going to have to test it out before you purchase it. Now, I'm beginning to smell some kind of fruit. Um... Maybe grapefruit. Definitely a citrus type fruitness in it. Now that it's shown up drying down. Back to the unique smell I'm smelling. Maybe that has something to do with the um, leather and the oak moss that's in it. Because it's definitely a unique scent. Mm. I definitely can um, smell some nuttiness from it. Maybe it got um, almonds, walnut, coconut, but it's definitely got a nutty feel too. Maybe it just got the vetiver, because vetiver can be kind of nutty too. Definitely. 
chunk of bean. So that's where that netting is coming from. Honey, vanilla, musk. Oh, yeah, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Unique, but gorgeous. This is definitely a warm, spicy, fruity, semi-sweet, smoky leather fragrance, y'all. Mm-hmm. Now, this here fragrance is definitely a date night fragrance. Yeah, a date night. I can see myself, me and my boo, me wearing this on a date night with my boo thing. Mm. And like really, like this type of weather, to me is great for fall, winter, in the early part of spring. Because it's still kind of chilly or got that coolness and not overly hot. So you definitely can wear this during those three seasons. Mm, mm, mm. This is intoxicating, y'all. I can't stop smelling it. It's intoxicating. Mmm. This is a very intoxicating, bold fragrance, y'all. It's bold. It's confident. Um, it's sexy. It's classy. It's mature. It's that, it's that fragrance that's... Just, just up in your face. Like the woman that's wearing this, she just all up in your face. Maybe like a, a bossy type woman. I mean, a woman that got her thing together. She's a boss. And she means what she said. That's type woman that wearing this fragrance right here. And this woman right here, she's a little bit intimidating. Yes, because she got it all together. She's a boss, she's a woman, she's intelligent, and then she turned around and got on this, on this scent, and it, this scent is intoxicating, and it's shown up making her know and feel like a confident boss. Yeah, and people don't like it either. They're around there looking. Yeah, they looking. They don't like it. They sitting around there talking about it, but she got her thing together. Talk on, talk on. I know who I am, I know my worth, and I'm not worried about the naysayers. Mm -hmm. That's the type of woman that's got this on. I mean, what else can I say? Let's go ahead on and rate this fragrance. On a scale from one to five, the packaging. <laughs> or five. On a scale from one to five, the bottle. <laughs> A five on a scale from one to five, the CRs. <laughs> a five on a scale from one to five, the juice inside this bottle. Hey, it's a five on a scale from one to five, the longevity, the CRs, baby, 10 plus hour. And that CRs, baby, is enormous. So, baby, that's another five. So, so, everybody, hands down, my overall number for this fragrance is a five and a epic. Epic, epic, epic. Epic, epic, epic. Epic, epic, epic. Yeah, we got an epic, y'all. I love this fragrance. This fragrance gets Thumbs up, it gets stars, it gets epic. I mean, this y'all is gorgeous. I love it. But like I said, it is a unique smell. So do not blind buy. Don't blind buy. You need to get yourself a sample of this first. Because I don't want you to purchase this and then you be saying, I saw Cassandra, she carried on about it. I don't like it. That's why I said sample, sample, sample. Okay? And so that's where you can um, do sit bird and get some samples. That's right. $14.95. So check sit bird out. I'm going to still have a link 
in the description section of this video and you just go to the website and everything you need to know about Sidbird, it will show it. Okay? So, I will definitely check out Sidbird if, I, if I'm thinking about purchasing this. Because I will get the sample first. Yes. I will not just blind buy. Even though I blind buy, I sure did. I really did. I blind buy. But like I said, I wouldn't I wouldn't tell my subscribers out there to just go out there and get it. I'm going to tell y'all, make sure you sample it before you purchase it. Okay? Well, that's it for this video. Comment in the bottom section of this video and let me know. Have you heard of Armor Wash Interlude Woman? Have you? And if so, do you have this fragrance? Are you, were you on the fence about purchasing this fragrance? And now that you see my review, did that push you over to get this fragrance? Comment! And let me know. Other than that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.